Hello, I'm Teresa Moreira, the head of the Competition and Consumer Policies branch of ANCTAD, and I am delighted to join the OECD Secretariat colleagues and other partners in this uh, workshop on legal models for international enforcement cooperation. I would like to start by um, underlining that ANCTAD is the guardian of the UN set of principles and rules on competition adopted in 1980 and which remains the single um, internationally agreed um, instrument in this field, even though it is, of course, a set of recommendations. I think it is very important to highlight also that the set not only recognizes the contribution of competition law and policy for the country's economic growth and uh, development, but also encompasses an important development dimension and a chapter on international cooperation. As most of you will know, um, ANCTAD works along three pillars. So consensus building, which covers the intergovernmental meetings that take place every year and also includes the uh, United Nations review conferences of the set every five years. Research and analysis activities to support the discussions, the consultations and deliberations by member states. And of course, technical cooperation through advisory services, technical assistance and capacity building that um, targets all of our 100 and almost all of our 195 member states. Of course, we don't do technical assistance for developed countries, but also include regional economic organizations that are um, adopting or cooperating in the field of competition law and policy. A couple of additional words already on the UN set on competition. Uh, since 2017, we uh, were um, fortunate to hold discussions on how to facilitate international cooperation in competition law enforcement between developing countries and developed countries competition authorities. And this led to the adoption of this instrument, also a soft law instrument, the guiding policies and procedures under um, section F on international cooperation of the UN set, which we are now testing, uh, that is to say receiving requests from member states and trying to assist them as um, the ANCTAD secretariat got an increased role as a mediator between uh, member states. I also wanted to mention to you that, of course, through the action of ANCTAD and, of course, other international and regional organizations, namely the OECD, of course, the ICN, and the work of regional economic organizations, we have moved from 20 something countries having competition law and policy to um, more or less 140 countries all over the world which include a vast majority of developing countries and least developed countries, underlining the importance of this discussion. But one of the most recent features is how regional economic organizations that include um, developing countries have also either adopted competition rules and competition competences at regional level, or have agreed to cooperate and in a way promote some sort of convergence um, between their member states. This is a very interesting trend, which uh, we believe uh, has a major role to play uh, in supporting especially the less experienced competition uh, law and policy um, authorities. I also would like to draw your attention to, of course, the fact that international cooperation is a, a, a major issue from the UN, so from ANCTAD's perspective, but of course the OECD and as I mentioned the ICN, at least at um, international level, as several uh, regional economic organizations and even development partners have been engaging in these discussions, trying to develop recommendations or templates that can facilitate all of this. However, despite all, all of these issues, this remains um, um, well a challenge, special, spe especially for small and um, young competition authorities of developing countries, which is why this workshop is extremely uh, timely. So I'm very much looking forward to um, see you all 
um, when we have uh, these discussions, hoping that we can advance in supporting member states across the world. Thank you very much.